Hey, good morning and welcome back to Old Time Garage. Um, I think I owe you an apology and an explanation. An apology for not having posting any videos for so long and, and an explanation as to why I haven't. So first of all, I think the last video I posted was around three years ago when I moved to the US. The reason I haven't posted any videos for so long is because I was under work visa that prevented me from having any source of income except from the one from the company that sponsored me to get into the US in the first place. Uh, now I've got permanent residency in the US so this is different and I can get back to making videos. As you can see, or maybe not, but I'm right now in the south of France. I'm taking off again this afternoon to go back to the US but uh, before I'm leaving uh, I wanted to come and check on my uh, brother's tractors one of them is not working anymore, or not starting I should say. This one here, that's a Z or from 1967 I think, something like that. Yep, 1967, I'm not sure if you can see. Uh, I think off the top of my head it's a 35 or 45 horsepower tractor. Uh, it's a 3100cc and about 3 ton weight. It's a pretty good tractor. I've driven it a few times a few years ago, but right now it's not working and from what my brother said uh, the fuel tanks got massive leak. So I just wanted to check on that and try and restart it so we'll see if we get anywhere. Uh, I don't have much time before I have to leave for the airport anyway, so I just wanted to give it a quick look and see what it does. As you can see it hasn't moved for a while, so I'm not even sure if the brakes are not seized or what I do know is that the uh, fuel tank is empty, I checked already earlier and that means that because it's gravity fed into the engine right now the engine is just dry, there's no fuel going to it which means that I'm gonna have to prime it and I know from experience that this is not an easy task on this tractor that is partly due to the fact that it's parked in an incline with the nose up and I'm not even sure if it's going to move or if the brakes are seized so I might have to put massive amount of uh, fuel in the tank just to compensate for that try try and get it started and then see if it would if it will move under its own power uh, but I guess I'll get to that when I get to it um, for now the first thing I want to do is take the fuel line off. Uh, I know this uh, uh, I know this is leaking here, so I want to take this off, check on the gaskets and then take it from there. Once I've done that, I'll put everything back together and then put some fuel in the tank and see what I have to do next. Alright, I thought you might enjoy seeing that, so I'll try and record everything I can the best I can. I don't have much much of my equipment here, so let's see how that comes out. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please consider doing so. It's a big help for me, and on top of that, I've got huge news coming up, probably in the next week for this channel. Uh, I'll share more details of it in the next few videos, but I'm, I'll be posting at least one or two videos every week for the next couple of weeks and I'll explain everything. You should know everything by probably within the next 10 days, something like that, one week to 10 days. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and click on that bell button so you get notified next time I post a video. I'm not saying any more right now, but uh, I'll be making a, a special video for that very soon. So stay tuned. Well, at least it's clean inside. I'm not sure how much you can see in there, but it's all clean dirty outside but all this tractor is dirty anyway so this is okay now I need to take the other one off and that's gonna be fun I 
as it is, I don't understand why it would be leaking. I'm gonna tighten everything back up. Regardez si ça coule au moins. Il faut qu'on voit pas. Il est en train de bouffer la truc là. Non Ah non, c'est bon. Regardez si ça coule. Ça, ça devrait aller maintenant. Ouais, ça fait bon. Maintenant, il faut qu'on reconnecte ça. Là. Ok, donc maintenant, on va regarder là. Là, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, attends, il y a eu c'est de l'eau, ça C'est pas rouge, hein c'est gâteau. On va dire ça parce que ça ne fait pas mal. On va couper un peu. Ça c'est du rouge, on va surtout mettre quelque chose là. On va mettre ça. On va mettre ça. All right, so, so far I've checked everything, all the connections here, I don't know if you can see them, yeah, all the connections here, up there, uh, see if anything is leaking, nothing, well, everything seems to be okay, checked on these, I thought I had another um, 
fuel line but I don't the one I have is too small so I'm gonna stay with this one then I clean the bowl here that was really bad and I have a leak here so I need to check on that As you can see it's dripping from here so I need to check on that and then I just need to prime everything that's what I started doing right now and as you can see it's working but it's leaking so I'm going to take that off again stop here take that off check where the leak is coming from and next step I need to take this tractor here move it to the other side put the jump cables on it and see if it will start so let's do that this leak first the weather is not great today to do that Usually, I don't have time to wait any longer. I've been here for a few, a few weeks, but I haven't had time to get anywhere close to this tractor yet. So, all right. So, this is—is is that okay? Gasket is where it's supposed to be. This goes up here and this comes here. Okay, so that should be alright. Now tighten everything up. And it should be alright. if it's leaking from the bowl or from above I'm starting to think it's from above but not sure maybe not and clean a little bit around there and now that it's full of fuel that should help a little bit I'm not trying to do a perfect job I'm just trying to make it cleaner and easier to see if there's any problem later on I don't have time for a perfect job right now so it is what it is get the keys, put the other tractor on the other side and let's go.
Le directeur. Ouais, non. C'est pas pour moi. Je sais même pas où ça se fout, ça. Sur le... Sur le porte. Là Le démarre. Oui. Le gros là. Comme ça Au cul du démarreur là. là. Ouais. Voilà. Allez, démarre ton bousin. Comment celui-là Laisse-le bien préchauffé. Là, donc t'as du gasoil qui arrive ton filtre à air il est où ton star pilote tu le mets où à l'avant Oh, 
putain. Faut pas le laisser tourner longtemps s'il démarre alors. Hein. Ok. Ok, vas-y. Vas-y et je m'en occupe. Pas le faire trop longtemps parce que tu vas cramer ton démarreur sinon. Ouais. Le bouton là Ouais, il est encore enclenché là. Peut-être que ça le fait quand il démarre aussi, avec la pression derrière. Vas-y, essaye. Fais gaffe au frein et fais gaffe à ta roue là La roue de l'autre d'eau donc il faut le faut qu'on mette de l'eau avant de le faire tourner t'as du liquide t'as du liquide pour lui mettre comment on fait je pousse le c'est bon bon ben tu vois pas si dur que ça hein. C'est juste que tu n'avais pas de... Il s'est désamorcé parce qu'il est dans le mauvais sens là. Ces vieux trucs en général, de toute façon ça tourne. Ah oh merde, j'ai fait tomber le bouchon. Well, here you have it guys. Uh, it's ready to move and there is some power after oof, at least a year, a year and a half of not moving.
it's been stored here <laughs> under the rain and snow a number of times uh, but yeah what I think it, it is is that uh, my brother parked it that way and since on these old tractors there's no uh, fuel pump or anything it's only gravity fed from here directly to the injection pump here so as you can see here maybe as you can see here uh, the uh, the out outlet of the fuel tank is under the level of the um, injection pump so basically air got into the circuit and uh, he wouldn't let him start again and because he's not using it very much he's not putting a lot of uh, fuel in it so he was barely reaching uh, a level high enough here that he would get under the, the gas in the fuel line but not far enough that he would get, get to the injection pump so I put more fuel in it and then checked all the elements of the fuel line cleaned up the uh, uh, fuel and water separator and basically it started there wasn't much more to it uh, right now we just st uh, stopped it because there's uh, it needs a lot of water in the radiator so my brother went and uh, uh, is getting some water so we can pour it in there and then restart it and move it again I know there's a problem with the brake so I want to see how it goes but I won't have time to do anything with it today uh, he'll have to deal with it on his own uh, or I'll do it next time I'm over here I know there's a bunch of other problems on this tractor it's leaking power steering fluid everywhere uh, basically from here I think here and here as you can see that's a very nice sear uh, but yeah it's a pretty good tractor apart from that for what it does here just a little bit of cultivating here that's pretty nice so now it's got two and he'll be able to work with the two of them without having to disconnect the implements and reconnect new ones and everything else and yeah that's about it so we'll put more water start it up again try and move it and that's it i'll let you watch that if you're interested and uh, please remember uh, to subscribe because there's like i said there's big news coming up to the channel in the next week or two and uh, that's all classical related so subscribe if you not subscribed yet uh, click on the bell button so you get notified next time i post a video and uh, thanks for watching
Fais ton filet sinon. Ouais mais bon. Vas-y. Hey tu vas déjanter. Tu vas déjanter. Elle va. Elle va. Elle va. Ah t'es bon encore mais. Comme tu veux, sinon laisse-le là, c'est pareil. Hein. Tu te l'éteins Non, c'est enfoncé, t'as plus de vue, c'est ça Ouais. Ok, c'est bon. Bon, et bien, un deuxième tracteur. Ah oui, ben ça, c'était déjà comme ça avant. Mais au moins t'en as un deuxième. C'est quoi ça T'as tiré le corps sur le tracteur 